everyone, it's Joe back again for another slime video. Uh, yeah, this is getting really, really repetitive. However, everybody loves slime. Well, I love slime, and the teens love slime. I don't know about parents, so sorry, guys. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to be needing some clear glue. Um, it could be the regular white glue. Totally up to you guys. We are going to need some saline solution, which this one has had better days, but as you can tell, it has been hard at work making slime for Joe. Um, some red food coloring, some glitter, and some little extra things. Um, and you're also going to need baking soda. <laughs> so, this is supposed to be Sienna hat, Sienna kind of themed slime. I was kind of running out of ideas, guys, but... This is how it's going. So we're gonna need our basic recipe of slime. Half a cup of glue. Make sure to get all that glue out because a lot of it really tend to stay on the container that you're like pouring it from so just want to get all of it in there <clears throat> and then we're going to do half a teaspoon of baking soda this is um this is this measures at one fourth so i do two mix that in Mix in half a cup of water. I'm not going to do the whole half cup. Okay. Um, let's add, let's add the food coloring. I'm going to do one drop. Oh, that was more than one drop. <laughs> well, about a drop and a half. Um, gel food coloring tends to be a lot, um, brighter than regular, like, uh, food coloring. So, it definitely looks red, which is the color that we are going for. This is not blood, everybody. Or Kool-Aid. I've got some glitter here. She's looking fancy. It looks just pink on the little container, but it's got like different like colors to it. That is so fancy, guys. I love glitter. Now you can't see it. <laughs> but you can actually see the little specks of it though, so looks cool. Now I'm going to add these little extra things in there that I think are cool because you know when you see Santa he's got like the red and the white and the black for his boots and his belt well this is kind of like you know sequin looking stuff he can bedazzle his outfit however he wants you know what I mean totally up to Santa but you can add however many things that you want because like it'll look cool and then these little fur thingies that kind of remind me of his hair. Well, they're not fur thingies. They're like fuzzy thingies, guys. The end product, I think, will be interesting to see how it looks. We'll see if these things pop out of there. Because a lot of times if you're doing like foams kind of slime, um, the things just pop out of there. And then we're going to do the one tablespoon of baking so or saline solution, not baking soda, guys. Don't do one tablespoon of baking soda. Your slime will be terribly hard. Okay, so mix that bad boy in. I'm wondering if I may have to add more saline solution to this one, but it is mixing in pretty well. So let's let's keep mixing. Ooh, and it's coming along, guys. So it's important to mix it. Um, don't add more stuff unless you absolutely need it. Like I just said, I may have to add some more, but it's looking like I'm not gonna have to. 
So, what I'm gonna do now is put some saline solution on my fingers. And I just do it over the slime because it's not gonna hurt to get just a little, like a little bit of extra little um, saline solution on there. And we are just going to, ooh, it's still sticky. And that's why you put the saline solution because it actually just comes off your fingers. Um, and I use the tips of my fingers to work with the slime um, because the palms of my hands are really, really hot. So use the tips until you can get it to like the consistency that you want. And like I said, you can add more saline solution, but it's probably going to make your slime too hard and not stretchy. So it's got these fun little things in there. And I really like how it feels. So, if you try it at home, let me know how it feels, guys. But I really like it. As you can see, this is what it's looking like. Our Santa hat type of slime. So, little ASMR moment there. And it's super, super stretchy, too. I'll catch you guys later and let me know if you do try this slime recipe, guys, at home. So, see you guys.